Welcome to Audrey's Southern Cooking. My name is Nita. And welcome to my kitchen. I'm glad everybody could come. If you haven't been here before, welcome. I'm so glad you came. If you've been here before, welcome back. I'm excited that you came back. And what are we gonna do today? Today, we're gonna do a little something different. We're gonna stay with the smoking theme for right now. But what are we gonna do? Smoked spaghetti. I cannot wait. This is gonna be so good. My stomach's already growling. So let's get get ready to see what we gotta have. All right, so what do we have today? Oop, let me turn my camera a little bit better. There we go. We have one pound of ground beef. I got the, uh, the Wagyu beef. It was on sale, so we got that. I wanted to try it, so this would be perfect. I've got spaghetti. So we went with the veggie spaghetti. That's what we like. I have roasted garlic. And you can use any flavor, roasted garlic. Okay, so we have tomato sauce. So this is roasted garlic. Bell pepper. We'll need an onion. Cheese. And I've got French bread. We're going to slice that up for the end to have with my spaghetti. Now you can also, you put pepperoni in here if you'd like. Um, Italian sausage would be really good. Um, any kind of sausage would be great. Whatever you want, whatever you usually put in your spaghetti, just go ahead and use that in this. So what we're gonna do is move over to the stove because the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna slice up our onions and our bell pepper and we're gonna get those sauteed in a, a skillet and then we're gonna put our brown, I'm sorry, our ground beef in there and brown that up. All right, let's get started. All right, so here we are back. I've got my onions and bell pepper chopped. There's a cup of onions. And I went ahead and cut a cup of bell pepper. Now, it, you can put mushrooms in here if you'd like, but and if you wanna do that, this now needs to saute together. Just saute it until it is tender and the onions are translucent and then once that is done then I have my noodles on also they need to be al dente so they don't need to be fully cooked because we're going to finish cooking them off in the um, pan when we bake it we're going to put that on the smoker so we're going to put that on our pit boss smoker at 350 degrees but we'll get to that point in a minute I'm going to come back here in a few minutes when this is ready and I'll show you what this looks like and then we're going to brown our ground beef. So I'll be right back. All right, so here we are back. My bell peppers are not getting as tender as my onions are. But I'm going to go ahead and take these off. You can see those. And my spaghetti is done. So I'm going to drain it and put it in a bowl. And then I'm going to come back. And we're gonna brown this ground, uh, brown. <laughs> then we're gonna come back and brown the ground beef. All right, we'll be right back. All right, here we are back. So, let me turn my eye back on. So I've got my Wagyu beef here. I've already got it open, so we're gonna dump this in. I didn't wipe the pan out, I didn't clean the pan. I still have a little bit of onions in there. A little bit of bell pepper, so but it's gonna be all right, just like it is. What I did was, is I put my bell peppers and onions in a little bowl to the side. Got my spaghetti noodles here. And while all this is working, we have the smoker going at 350. I'm gonna add some salt. 
needs a little bit of garlic on it. But you add the seasoning that you would like. And I've got me a little bit of uh, clove of garlic. I'm going to go ahead and I've got that chopped. I'm going to put that in here. And I'm going to brown this up. And when we get this brown, we'll come back. All right, here we are back. As you can see, this is done. It didn't have a lot of fat in it, but I'm going to go ahead and drain this. I'm going to drain this out. And then when I come back, we're going to add our uh, bell peppers and our onions to it, as well as um, our spaghetti sauce. And we'll be almost to the point where we can put it in a pan. All right, we'll be right back. All right, welcome back to the counter. So, I've got my sauce ready. So here's what our spaghetti mixture looks like. So what it says to do is put like a third of this in the bottom of this a nine by 13 pan. So I'm gonna put about a third, maybe a little bit more since the pan's kind of big. All right, so once you put all your ingredients together, make sure that you stir it up really well. All right, so I've got probably a little bit more than a third, closer to half, cover the bottom. Now what I did with the spaghetti noodles is put two tablespoons of butter and a half a cup of cheese. So of course they were hot, so the cheese kind of melted. So that's next and that we're gonna add all the spaghetti noodles on here. I'm just gonna to try to spread them out the best I can. It's all you can do with these spaghetti noodles. You know, they stick together so bad. I'm just trying to lay them out kind of even as I can. Try to save myself a little trouble in a, in a little bit. I'm gonna make a stop a minute. I gotta have me some lemonade today. I didn't have, I didn't want the tea, so I um, just had lemonade. It is hot up in this kitchen. Okay. And then we're gonna put our meat sauce on top. Then we're gonna bake it in the smoker for 45 minutes. At, um, well, I'm gonna put it on 350 for 45 minutes. I think I should have used a smaller pan. But we're just gonna spread this around. So this is gonna go in the smoker for 45 minutes at 300, and then we'll come back and we're gonna add some cheese to it. When it is, after the 45 minutes, when it's done, we'll add cheese to it and let it sit, and then we'll put our French bread in the oven at that time. All right, see you in 45 minutes. All right, here we are at the smoker. It's at 350. Putting my spaghetti on some smoke coming out that's gonna make it so good all right we'll be back in 45 all right so my timer went off it's been 45 minutes we're gonna put some cheese on here looks pretty good we'll pull it out just a little bit and i'm just gonna 
I put this whole pack. I've only used a half a cup out of it, so there's a cup and a half left in here. I like a lot of cheese. They didn't have mozzarella. The store is pretty wiped out because this is the weekend of the 4th of July. Oh, here comes the smoke. Whew. They even need more than that. Alright, I may add a little bit more cheese, but we'll be back in about 15 minutes. So I've got my French toast sliced. And I put some butter on it. I'll leave that in there for about uh, seven to 10 minutes. That and the spaghetti will be done about the same time. All right, I'm gonna take my toast out. I don't like mine real crunchy, um, real brown. So to me, it's good. And then we're going to go out here and check on our spaghetti on the grill. back at the counter look at that let me see if I can kind of pick it up a little bit look at that look at all that deliciousness all right let's cut a, a little piece out I say cut but spoon it out Can you see the steam? Because I can see the steam. All right, let's 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 get over here where we can do a taste test. Oh, look at how gorgeous that is. Let's try a little bite. much smoke in it as I would have liked but it's still good but that's me personally you may have maybe too much for you I'm gonna get me some bread and go with that and we're gonna sit down and eat but thank you for watching my video I'm so glad you came don't forget to bring your sweet tea I made lemonade today I didn't have sweet tea so um and I put it in the fridge I still don't have it <laughs> But don't forget to bring your sweet tea. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any more videos because we're gonna have some more smoking videos for the summer. We're also gonna have other different dishes that we can cook. Um, we'll be going to the farmer's market still. I haven't gone yet, but we're gonna go soon. It's been raining so much. I've been trying to give them some time to get some good tomatoes. Oh, I can't wait for fresh tomatoes. All right, well, thank y'all so much for watching our video. Um, a couple of things I just thought about, let me tell you. If you wanted to put some, like I said, some pepperoni in this, Italian sausage would be really good. You might want to put some mushrooms in with your cheese and put on top. Um, uh, mushrooms, black olives, just whatever you like in your spaghetti, you can do this in this one. 
So for the recipe, it'll be down in the description. Um, if you have any comments or if you want to um, request something, go ahead and comment that in my in the comment section below. I would appreciate that. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day and happy 4th of July.